Hello friends, my name is Belvin and this is my friend Yash. We are from Diploma ICT Thought Sem from Harvard University. We are here to demonstrate our project on Redboard. So our project is 4 bit binary up counter using T flip flop and uh, it counts from 0 all the way to 15 and uh, then it loops. So now we are going to show you the theory and then the practical. So this project comprises of the following components. So the first component we have is 7408 IC. Now this IC is AND gate IC and each IC has 4 AND gates inside it. Then we have 7476 IC. Now we are going to use 2 of these ICs and each IC has uh, 2 GK flip flops in it. Then we are going to use a frequency generator to provide clock pulse to our GK flip flop ICs. So uh, we can also use uh, dedicated equipment or frequency generators but we are going to use Arduino for this. Then we have breadboard and copper wires for all the wiring of our circuits. And we have four LEDs, each LED representing a bit in our counter. Now, this is our circuit diagram. And uh, as you can see, we have four JK flip flops. Now, to create a T flip flop, we have to short both J and K inputs of the flip flops. So as you can see, uh, the J and K inputs are shorted and uh, it creates a T flip flop. The same is applied on all four of the JK flip flops. So we get four T flip flops. And uh, as you can see, this is the clock pulse. This is a synchronous counter. So we are giving all four of the ICs clock pulse. Now we have the output waveform of our project so as you can see these are the 16 clock pulses and uh, uh, this is the output of the first bit it switches on and switches off at a one second interval the second bit which is on and off at a two second interval the third bit at four second interval and the fourth bit at eight second interval now we have uh, the characteristic table for T flip flop. As you can see, if we input 0 to a T flip flop, then we get the previous output, and if we input 1 in T flip flop, then we get the bar of the previous output. So, if the previous output was 0, then we will get 1, and if the previous output was 1, then we will get 0. Now, this is the excitation table for our T flip flop. So, as you can see, this is the previous output and this is the next output. So, for uh, going from previous output 0 to next output 0, we are not uh, going to input uh, 1 bit, but we are going to input 0, representing no change. And uh, according to our uh, characteristic table, as you can see, if we give 0, then it will give the same output as the previous state. So, for going from 0 to 0, we will input 0 and then we have from 0, we are going to 1. So, the value of output is changing, so we are going to input 1 to uh, bar the previous output. Now, going from 1 to 0, we are going to input 1 again and from 1 to 1, since there is no change, we are going to again input 0. So, now, this is our state diagram. So as you can see, we are starting from 0000, 0, 0, 0 and going all the way to 1111. So 0 to 15, then again to 0. Now, this is our state table representing the inputs we are going to give for uh, uh, the output that we want. So this is the uh, present state or the present output of each T flip flop. So we have four of those. Then this is uh, the next output or next state. And uh, according to the change in these, we are going to decide our inputs. So we have decided four of these. Now for the final equations, as you can see, we are using K map for forming the equations. For T3, the final equation is Q1, Q0, Q2. For T2, it is Q1, Q0. For uh, T1, it is Q0. And for T0, 
we are going to give a continuous high pulse of 1. So now let's see the practical working of the project. So as you can see we have uh, used Arduino to provide the clock for the uh, circuit. Uh, the clock is uh, coming from the 13th pin number of the Arduino and we have also used the Arduino for the power supply. So as you can see the 13th number pin is connected to the uh, first uh, pin of the 7476IC which is the clock pin and that pin is also connected with other clock pins of the other two ICs. So as you can see in the circuit diagram uh, there is a constant uh, VCC to the uh, this uh, flip flop then we have connected the, its output to the uh, following flip flop then we have performed the logical and operation of this of previous two flip flops and we have connected the output of that end gate to the uh, following flip flop then we have uh, connect uh, made logical and operation between all three of these flip flops output and then we have connected that uh, output to the uh, this flip flop so as you can see whenever this uh, first led will always blink because as in t flip flop if the input is one then uh, the output will uh, be constantly changing for the next pulse input so this led will be uh, blinking constantly so as you can see if these two leds are on then there is a uh, logical and operation one to this uh, led which will turn it on and off then if three these three leds are on and uh, on then logical and operation will be performed on this led so in this uh, this is our lsb which is least significant uh, least significant byte and this is our msb which is the most significant byte and it loops again and again 0 to 15